Dome Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, some news, you know, some real good news from a legend, you know, and one of the top pound for pound guys and, you know, the face of boxing, you know, Canelo. Canelo offered a fight, I think it was, to Andre Ward, Andre Ward, and Andre Ward has turned the fight down, all right? You know what I mean? You know, because I'm retired. You know, I ain't coming back. You know, I'm, you know, I'm just not coming back to do that. You know, not interested. More or less. So, you know, Andre Ward ain't coming back. Right? Bottom line. And I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> Straight up. I'm going to tell you why. It's because, first of all, y'all would take his old anyway. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't want Floyd Mayweather to come back. Don't we? Anything close you're going to get took. You got that decision with uh, Kovalev, that first fight, brother. They, they, they're going to take it. So you wouldn't even have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because listen, Andre Ward done been through some stuff. You know, people be on here, well, why did he, you know, so cynical? You know, why is he saying stuff like that? You know, and then you just say, well, Andre Ward shouldn't have asked, right? He's at 168, won the Super 6 tournament, which is like the WBWS tournament now, find out who the, really the baddest is. And Andre Ward was barely even invited as an underdog to come in and be, win, a, you know, win that tournament. With some names in there, you know, Jermaine Taylor's of the world was up in there. Uh, Arthur uh, Abraham, when he was Arthur Abraham, was up in there. Uh, your boy Carl Froch, supposed to be the man. Wasn't Kessler in there too? All of them, right? And he came out of that unscathed. Then, you know, whatever, done some other stuff. Chad Dawson and all that stuff, undefeated. So he's at 168. And, you know, the Janata Golovkin was the man. HBO was pushing, you know, that he's the best middleweight in 25 years. He said he'd beat anybody from 154 to 175, and him and Abel Sanchez said they wouldn't even, you know, last. So, you know, then they dropped it back down to 168. Ain't nobody forgotten nothing. You know what I'm saying? We all know what it was, right? So, you know, Andre Ward, you know, because he was like, you know, Golovkin then was like, you know, hey, we'll fight uh, Carl Froch, right? And uh, I think they said Sam Chavez Jr., you know, what's up with y'all? And then Ward was like, hey, but uh, excuse me, you know, I'm here. You can have me, right? Do you know what HBO told Ward? Leave Janai Golovkin alone. And you go up with your little punching power that you don't really have and go up and fight the crusher. We telling you to. Basically, that was that was huge at the time. That's the kind of thing Andre Ward has been through, right? They forced him, wait a minute, Janai Golovkin got all his punching power and hasn't moved the division. I mean, he just said he can beat everybody. I'm, I'm here. You know, I'm number one, number two, pound for pound. He would probably want to get to me. Matter of fact, he should be calling me up. Well, I might have to say something, but I don't care. I say something, and then I get banned from fighting Golovkin. That's franchise championship is what that is. That's what that was back then. It's a new name now. We call it franchise. Franchise is ignited a little war, more or less. And what it is, is it unwokes some people up. That, you know, be like, man, it's all, you complaining about stuff and this and that. You know, them kind of dudes, right? Just that just so I woke up and this one just slaps you right in your face. I'm like, yeah, we just put a, give a person a belt and the other guy behind them doesn't get the opportunity to fight him. <laughs> Boom, we're doing that. What you gonna do? Right? You're gonna keep, keep coming anyway. And then, after just a couple, a couple of weeks go by, then with that belt that we said that was the real belt, we'll start calling it the regular belt. And then the franchise championship, the dude who got that one, win or lose, he still got that one because we just put a stamp on it. W what is that? Now, the franchise championship would be okay if it's just something they just gave you, you know, with what you already have. Like a little extra. Okay, you know, you can have that. Cool, franchise. But it doesn't mean that you don't have to do your other obligations, right? So Andre Ward, he ain't going for that. You know what I'm saying? He's not going for that. And I know that he's, he's woke about what's going on, looking at his pound for pound list. He's just not letting anybody have it. Anybody have it. They're up there picking Inui and Lomachenko and stuff. He's like, well, what are Canelo? Mm -mm, Terrence Crawford, period. Because he knows that a Charlo and an Andre exist, right? The franchise championship was made because of Jamal Charlo. That's what it was made. His name needs to be engraved on there because if it wasn't, if that mandatory's name was Zemaretta, who Janati Golovkin about to fight with five knockouts and at that time four, then we wouldn't be having no 
uh, situations. He would have took care of that mandatory. And if the dude with the WBO title wasn't Andrade, it was Leon Smith, then Canelo would be undisputed middleweight champion. That's what would be happening. Okay, but it just so happens that it's a Charlo or we got that mandatory position. We got to do something because you don't want to fight him. So we just going to give him a franchise and just act like he can go somewhere. Cool. Right. Oh, there's an undisputed fight where we have no more problems in midway division. One fight. We were one fight from it. Just Andre. He's sitting over there begging with a WO strap at the zone, the same place. Everything. Wait, begging. On September the 14th. And we just ignored that. Like it just wasn't that. We're going to wait for Anthony Yard versus uh, Kovalev. And then we're going to go up there and mess with Kovalev. Who just finished fighting. They ain't been looking good. Almost got knocked out by him. We got to fight him. Like Mexico knows Kovalev. Morales said nobody know Kovalev over there. I bet you didn't know Andre and them. Bet you, I bet you didn't know Charlo. Because they from Texas. You know that stadium stuff. So with all that being said. Andre Ward simply knows all that. Okay? He knows all that. He's a very bright man. He knows all that. Y'all ain't gonna just be picking me out, give him a way out. Mention Charlo and Andre in your articles, people, that are out there writing articles and have credentials to write articles. You're acting like the middleweight division, like Canelo has somewhere to look for opponents. Like he doesn't have any. He has very, very good ones and very big fights that would be double Kovalev, either one of these brothers. So let's hop to it. And that's why your boy, Andre Ward, ain't thinking about it. <clears throat> Y'all come with something real after he does something that the boxers that know what's going on also respect, right? Then maybe you, Andre Ward might come back one day, but not for that. Somebody going to have to uh, uh, talk to Charlo. Somebody going to have to talk to Andre. And then you'll see the conversation changes after that. Watch what I tell you. Don't sports talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.